see. You can see the shape of her. She finally came. Let's see if I can get close without her running away. Hmm. There she is. I was wondering when she was going to come about. She's actually getting pretty long. Here's my big girl. And Dixie is my Turkish gecko. And as you see, she only likes to come out at night. See? Stern BB. She's silly. Now if I can get my banded short tail gecko to come out. Oh, there she goes. She's a tiny little thing. Well, Dixie's tiny. My banded short tail gecko is not, but she is. Dixie, what you doing? She's like straddling the top of the cage. I think she finally came up top. She was probably drinking the water and I sprayed all in her cage. in that nighttime cool air. Look his camera. There we go. <laughs> you see the outlines of her. She is so cute. She looks fat. And then she's enjoying the nighttime air. I have my fan going. Her cage is at 
80 degrees and it's slowly dropping that's a good temperature for her right now because in her cage her cage sits at about 90 all day hey baby she don't even care I don't know where Jace is that monstrosity <clears throat> I saw him earlier <laughs> oh, yeah, she's just up there chilling. She's probably like, Mom, stop bothering me. But yeah, look at her. She's such a cutie. I wish I could show her colors better. It's hard to see her colors at night. But if anybody knows what a Turkish gecko looks like, that's about the idea. The gist of how Dixie looks. She's a Turkish gecko. She's light colored. But I'm glad to see her up top. Just as I was starting to fall asleep, I looked over right there, she was. I know the next one I'm getting is the Marble Gecko. So, coming soon, guys, you will be seeing my Marble Gecko. So, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Uh, there's a cricket loose. I need to go grab it. Good afternoon, guys. So I'm setting up for my marble gecko. It's so beautiful. Hi, BB. I know. I'm getting you set up. This is for the crickets. I just bought a bunch of crickets. I'm gonna try to breed them. I just set up the thing for crickets. I'm getting him, her set up. I don't know what it actually is. I believe that is a boy. Yep, that's a boy. Okay, so I'm getting him all set up. Hold on, buddy, I'm almost done. This is his temporary. Until I get um, a 20 gallon for him. So, he won't be in here long. They never stay in these things long. As you saw, the animals did not stay long in their enclosure. But yeah, this is one of those extra large critter cages. Yeah. Trying to get him all set up here. I'm about to mist it down out of crickets. Where's the spray bottle? And I gotta put the lights up. Where the hell's my spray bottle? Let's see. It's all brand new light. I got so many light bulbs. Which I gotta set up. Because he's gonna need a light bulb in. That's an empty bulb box. So that's the red bulb. That's a 50 watt red bulb, and here's a 40 watt. I'm giving him a 40 watt. Oh no, wait, I want to give him a 50 watt. That's right. His cage is different. Where's, oh, there it is. So much things going on here. In a couple of days, he'll have a different, he'll have his bigger cage. Let's moisten this a little. Not too much, because these guys don't like it too humid, from what I read. 
Let's add to Cricut. But yeah. Good boy. Chase, you're going to so big. I mean, if Dixie came out or not. <laughs> He's just watching me. Let's see here. It's hard to see in her enclosure. <coughs> Pretty hot in there. Let it cool down for a minute. Since your little thing gets hot fast. Oh, come on, camera. For real? Stop being stupid. Hmm. And I have a. I don't see her anywhere. But I don't do nothing considering Dixie is small she blends in. But look at my big boy. He's so beautiful. I'm gonna move that down. Look how big he is. He's freaking huge. So, yet again, I got a new addition. Look at this. Look at these tanks. <coughs> My marble gecko, Rex, it is too big for that a critter carrier I had him in, like I said. So, today, I went out and, um, I got him this 10 gallon tank. There he is. See, look how big he is. He's freaking. He's big. Like, he's, he definitely needed a bigger tank. I wasn't gonna keep him in that critter carrier. There was no way. I wasn't doing that to him. He needs his space. As you can see, he is. A big boy just like Jay's and I believe in taking care of my animals properly so now Rex my marbled gecko is in this 10 gallon enclosure by himself of course so um, he's in this big cage obviously I have no more room in my bedroom for it. Any more tanks. And then over there is my um Western banded Western banded <laughs> Western banded toe Yako Bala. She is so hard to capture. Like, even at night, she doesn't really come out. I'm gonna have to pull her out. I'm gonna check to make sure she's okay still. But yeah, she's in that, in her hut right there. Look, see, my camera's being stupid right now. Like, I don't wanna focus for crap. So, in my critter carrier, I actually got a um, short-toed gecko. I named her Izzy. She's a cute little thing. She is so tiny. I mean, she is tiny. I don't know if I can get her right now or not. My camera's gonna goddamn focus. What is going on with this crap? Like, my camera's really starting to piss me off right now. It's 
pretty. See, she has a black light on. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to capture her or not. But yeah, she has this tiny little thing. I don't even see if she, I don't see. Yeah, I don't even think she's out right now. I think she's in her den. Hmm. I'm gonna have to wait <coughs> till tomorrow. <laughs> There's my knoll. One of them anyways. Look how long her tail's getting. Her tail's so long. Um, she's only spying on her. That is Lilith. All my geckos, all my gnolls, my long tail lizard, all of them have their tails. None of their tails have ever been broken off. Where I've fallen off. I never had to grow their tails back, so they all have their original beautiful tails. I'm very careful with my reptiles. I make sure never to stress them out. I pick them up a certain way. Because I always, always make sure their tails do not break off, especially the geckos. I'm very anal about that. And I think it's really upsetting to see geckos and other reptiles with no tails. I, mean, I understand it's a defense mechanism and it happens, but honestly, it doesn't need to happen. If you don't stress your animal out, and as long as you pick them up a certain way, like, their tail will never fall off. <laughs> I think it's really sad to see when you buy them at the pet store. They don't handle them properly. So of course, half of the reptiles there have no freaking tails because it's not their pets. They really don't really care because at the end of the day, they go home and it's not their animal. So they don't really give a shit about the animals properly, which is pretty sad. Where is that? I see the one. Where's the other one? Another female's right there. I'm trying to see if I capture the other one. You can see her head moving. Oh, there she goes. She's funny. <coughs> I won't bother her too much. See, with my animals, I try not to just turn them or stress them out. Like, yeah, tomorrow I'll pull. I'll pull Bella out. I'll pull Izzy out. That way you guys can see them. Of course, my big boys, Rex and Jace, they like to sit out. They love basking. They're big boys. But yeah. The marbled gecko and my golden day gecko are so beautiful. They are huge. Look at these guys. It's funny because the species that I have, you can't find hardly any information on them. And I've checked for hours and hours and hours on YouTube to see if there's any YouTube videos. There's a lot of like short clips and stuff. 
of some of these guys, but other than that, everybody always has lychees or gargoyle geckos, crested geckos, leopard geckos, New Caledonians, like everybody has all those geckos. And don't get me wrong, those gecko species are wonderful. Like. I'm getting me a crested gecko, and I'm getting some gargoyle geckos <coughs> coming up. So, but I don't really see anybody doing any videos on marbled geckos or Turkish geckos or the golden gecko. Like, all these geckos that I have, like, I don't see nothing on any of them. Uh, even my short toed, my short toed um, gecko, her little tiny thing. She's also called the dwarf sand gecko, or the Egyptian, Egyptian sand gecko. I don't see any videos on her either. Same with my banded toed gecko. She is actually from Western Africa. And her cage it only stays at 40-50% um, humidity. I'm talking about Belle over here. She, um, she likes her daytime temperatures 80 to 85 degrees. At night from 70 to 75 they prefer. They hide in their huts a lot. They're actually not arboreal. Like... A lot of other geckos you would think she's actually big just like um Rex here and she she has a beautiful black and yellow pattern on her but with my banded toe gecko besides being from um, West Africa it says she's also from parts of Australia as well but there's not that much research on her so when I pull her out tomorrow and show you guys what she looks like she is, you'll see she is a very beautiful gecko and I'm very surprised not pull more people have her species but like I said apparently they're rarer in the um in the hobby here because Nobody has her at all. Like, I can't find anybody that has even done a video on the specific banded gecko that I have. I've seen, like, the western banded geckos and stuff like that. I've seen some videos on them, but she's not that species. She's from... West Africa and not the ones that are from Australia. So I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on her and I'm going to do a chart and I'm going to start jotting down the notebooks and study her because since she's a species no one has done videos on or there's not much research on about her. I am actually going to be doing a study on her and I am going to keep track of my research and I'm going to upload it to my channel every week to show everybody what she, her hobbies are like and her behaviors, her eating habits. That way if anybody else does buy a gecko like her there will be at least some videos on them. That way someone has a, some kind of an idea of how to take care of them properly. Since even my pet store said that there's not much information they were able to get on her. So I am going to research, document, and study her myself. That way... I'm hoping the information will someday help somebody if they end up also buying her species as well.
Now with the marble gecko, I've only seen like shorts and certain videos on him as well. There's not much I've found for him either. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing with him. I'm gonna be studying him. I'm gonna be documenting the videos and sharing them on YouTube as well. That way if anyone else goes out and buys a marbled gecko same with the, my um, golden gecko, like, people have more information on how to take care of them and their habits and eating habits and all that stuff as well. So far, he's, he's kind of more like a Tokay gecko, he seems like. It's like a mixture of the morning gecko and the Tokay. He can get pretty defensive from what I've seen so far, but I think that's just, I think it's just a little shaken up because the way the pet store owner had to grab him and the car ride home, he's settling down. He is a very quick, but he does get very defensive and agitated easily, so... We will see how he does as he settles down into his new enclosure. And we will document and keep track of his progress every day as well. Right, Rex? <laughs> like, whatever. He's like, you know, a woman. I'm trying to sleep. Same with my short finger gecko apparently I picked a bunch of geckos that nobody has because I tried looking up information there's more information on the short fingered gecko I've noticed that but I've also noticed yet again on YouTube not that many people own them I've just found a couple people that have done it all like little videos on them they are more of the desert dwelling species they are from the the Middle East and parts of Northern Africa they are more of a desert dweller <clears throat> but they also like humidity too some moisture they also like spots with moisture so they kind of both they're a mix between tropical and desert, so I will also be researching her, and I will be posting weekly videos on the short finger gecko as well. That way, if anybody ends up buying a short finger gecko, a marble gecko, a banded toe gecko, or a Turkish gecko. I will have videos and information on them. Same with the golden gecko. Like I said, I didn't find much information on Jace either. Now with Jace, yes, he's more common. He's like more of the species of the um more common like the day gecko and he is the golden day gecko but he disappeared from that spot he ran off he's probably hot and he does eat a lot he's got three crickets a day he is my big boy i do give them a um little paste like twice a week I give them a little crested gecko diet I mix up you know the powder with the water and then a little dish and a little saucer cup for them I do that twice a week I give them um, I give them powdered crickets once a week 
to at least three times a week they get vitamin calcium supplements I don't give them too much I only give them a little bit at each feeding because you know you don't want to overdose them on the stuff oh there he is but he is doing beautiful like I will film him tomorrow when he is out and about but yeah big boy over here yeah it's freaking huge Yeah. Hi, buddy. Yeah, tomorrow I'll film him when he's not under a red bulb. And we can actually see his coloring and what he really looks like. But I'm going to head off to bed. It is about 5 a.m. and I'm tired. I've had a long day. So I will see you guys tomorrow. This is my short, my short to go Izzy's cage. Like I said last night, I couldn't see her because she I had the red light on. She must be under her rock. Where is she? She must be in there. Dang it. Okay, I guess she's not up right now. I thought she would have came out when I moved the cage. Where's she at? Izzy, where you at, darling? She must have burrowed. She is so tiny. She's like the tiniest little thing. And I do not see her anywhere. What the hell? This little girl. Okay, so she must have burrowed down underneath. <coughs> well, I guess I have to wait for her to come out. I was hoping she would come out. Oh yeah, this is the inside of Izzy's cage. <laughs>